so hard to watch this because, of course, they're just still, you know, even beginning to recover from Helene, and now this is on the way. It's right. just so heartbreaking. And along that west coast of Florida, there's still like piles of debris and damage mm -hmm. from Helene. And I wouldn't call this a silver lining, but at least it's not going parallel to Helene's track. It's not, the okay. remains won't go up into the Carolinas True. and Tennessee yeah. and produce the kind of flooding that we saw up there, which is good. It's going to mm -hmm. go straight across Florida. But Tampa. Which, well, Tampa, there's also storm surge watches now on the east coast of Florida. Wow. Because the easterly winds will pile water up on the east coast too. So it's really going to be a double barrel of impact on both of Florida's coast, which is amazing. I've got a up close view of the hurricane and its eye. And you may be wondering what happened with this. And sorry about the black there. We'll come back to you so you can see. You may be wondering, like, oh, wait a minute, it's category five yesterday, and then it became a category four as it weekend last night. But look at the intense thunderstorm activity around that eye wall. Super impressive there. Impressive there, right? So yes, it did weaken last night to a category four, but now it's back up to a five. You may be wondering why did that happen? Well, hurricanes, especially intense ones like this, undergo what we call an eye wall replacement cycle. The eye wall is the area right around the eye. The eye is the clear part in the middle of the storm where it's calm and the wall around that is where the weather is the worst. The rainfall, the winds, everything is the most intense. So when you get a really big category five or real, sorry, really strong category five, it's so intense it eventually kind of closes in on itself, but then a new wall forms around it, oftentimes a little bit bigger with not quite as deep of low pressure, which is why it weakened to a four. This one went through an eye wall replacement cycle and barely weakened to a four. Now it's back to a five. Again, an indication as to how strong and powerful this storm is. So it's a category five sustained winds of 165, the gusts of 200. Here's the historical track. That's that line. This is where it is right now, and you can see it's on a B line still right towards Tampa Bay. Now this is the official track from the Hurricane Center. OK, when you look at the individual models and this is what the Hurricane Center does, among other things, is you see a lot of them are now south of Tampa Bay. We saw this shift last night. That would be good for Tampa Bay if the track shifted south like that because they wouldn't get quite as much of a push from that storm surge. You see there's one model here it takes it right over the bay and I believe that's the the uh, very high resolution hurricane model that the Hurricane Center is relying on for their official forecast. So again, we call these spaghetti models because first of all, it's a, each line represents a different model. But when you put it all together and throw it on a map, you can see it looks like spaghetti right now. If these were really widely spread out, not clustered the way they are, then we would have less confidence in the forecast track, but they're pretty tightly clustered.